Well, good day, Calvary. It's Tuesday, March the 2nd. Tremendously significant day in the life of the Anderson family. It's my mother's 84th birthday today, and I hope you're having a great Tuesday yourself. Yeah, I'd like to share just a bit of a reflection on what the cross and the resurrection of Jesus Christ means to me. Let's turn, if you have your Bibles there, maybe the word of the day, Matthew chapter 21. We're going to celebrate the king is coming. Prophecy was being fulfilled right before the people's very eyes. And the prophecy that said the king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, a foal of a beast of burden. And as this person, Jesus Christ, was coming just as the Isaiah prophet, the prophet Isaiah had said years before, people were singing, they were celebrating. Many of them were throwing their coats in front of him and, and palm fronds down before them. And they were, they were singing this song, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. And this is the King of Kings, the creator of the universe. This is the Son of God. The one man, the one man who walked on this earth that was totally without sin. And he was willing to die on a cross to pay the price, the penalty of sin for a wretch like Chet Anderson. Well, when I reflect on the price Jesus paid for my soul, I think to myself that that price was way too high that Jesus paid that I'm not worth that high a price. But Romans 5, 8 reminds me, but God proves his love for us by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us while we're still sinners. You see, God so loved me that he gave his one and only son that because I believed in him, I'm not going to perish, but I'm going to have everlasting life and you can have that life as well. But here's my reflection. Jesus suffered and he died for me. And he was laid in a borrowed tomb. But he didn't stay dead. He didn't stay there. You see, we went from singing Hosanna to the king to thinking, wow, woe is me. My king is dead. My king has been buried. Back to the third day. On the third day, Jesus arose from the grave. And we celebrate that at Easter. I remember the celebration as a little boy going to church, celebrating the fact that Jesus is alive. He is alive indeed. And we celebrate on Easter that not even death can hold our Savior down. Praise God that Jesus Christ is arisen today. And he desperately wants to have a relationship with you. You see, I'm going to ask you to remember, as I reflect on Easter, that maybe you reflect. What does Jesus' death and Jesus' resurrection mean to you? You see, Christ wants you to trust him. So I'm going to invite you to put all your trust and to the Savior, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, Jesus Christ. That's my reflection for today. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks for loving me. Thanks for giving me salvation through your son, Jesus Christ. And I pray as I reflect on the horrible death that you allowed your son to die on a cross and be buried, but on the third day he arose. God, that was for me. And that's for all who call on his name. So my prayer is that we would trust in the Lord with all of our heart. God, that we would surrender our lives to him and that we would enjoy all of eternity. And by all means, give us the strength and the courage to share this message with our friends. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a fantastic Tuesday.